Good morning, monkeys. Welcome to phase two of Monkey Lundia here at Coaster Monkey Studios. And we are back. I hope you guys enjoyed the phase one release uh, that happened last week. Uh, if you don't know who we are, we are Coaster Monkey Studios. I am Coaster Monkey Studios. Gabriel, Coaster Monkey here. Uh, bringing you a whole lot of Planko and a whole lot of vlogging from around the country. If you like what you see here, don't forget to click like and subscribe right here. Bam. And uh, if you are joining us not for the first time, then welcome back. Yeah, so last week, last week was a big one for us, huh? We released phase one of Monkey Landia, which was so exciting. And now we are officially in phase two, which at this point now I've got like a good, I don't know, 100 hours recorded already of phase two. So there's a lot of video coming uh, your way, which is gonna be really good. There's gonna be uh, a lot of auditing and editing that needs to be done. So it's not gonna be 100 hours of, of video for you guys to see. But uh, yeah, so what are we doing right here? Well, we are building our next roller coaster here in Monkeylandia, as well as our next themed area. Uh, so, what are we doing? Well, we are creating a water coaster. Uh, where did this idea come from? Well, obviously having a New York theme park. A New York park, or sorry, let me rephrase it. A park with New York theming. <laughs> it's not a New York theme park. Um, I wanted to obviously have a bridge. What bridge better than the Brooklyn Bridge, right? So that's what we did here. We created, or we're, we're beginning, beginning to create uh, the Brooklyn Bridge. We're gonna have in a later episode the actual build out of the Brooklyn Bridge. Um, but yeah, to coincide with this Brooklyn Bridge, what I wanted to do is I wanted to have a water coaster that careens around it and through it and really creates a very awesome uh, experience for our guests, right? Again, it's all about elevating that experience. So what I did was is I went online, I did some research, and I found the Beast roller coaster, or the Beast Speedboat, I'm sorry. It's both a roller coaster and a speedboat in one. Uh, <laughs> the Beast Speedboat is actually a guided tour that goes around the Hudson River, I'm sorry, the East River, excuse me, not the Hudson, the East River, and it uh, does these amazing, crazy maneuvers. So it feels like you're on a roller coaster, but you're also on a guided tour. So that's what we wanted to recreate with this coaster. And you're gonna see there's a couple of iterations that happened here. There's a lot of back and forth uh, that I wind up doing. But again, just so you guys can get the idea of what this is gonna look like. So the station building, we're gonna get to the station building next week. So I'm not gonna, or next episode, not next week. So we're getting the station building next episode and I don't want to spoil it because it's a potential spoiler. Uh, but yeah, the station building is awesome sauce. So the whole theming is around this beast, the beast, uh, speed boat. And that's what I want you guys to see kind of what I do here. And you saw it in some of the intro video as well, kind of what this coaster looks like. And that that's really what we wanted to go off. The whole idea is that you're on this, you're on this quote unquote speedboat and you're you're literally tapping the water and hopping along the water like a speedboat would, right? And that's the whole ideology behind it. As for this coaster, not as much of a royal pain in the butt as I had originally anticipated. Um, definitely a little challenging to line up the lift hill with the water trough there. And, and, and the reason why is because you can't build a lift hill backwards. You can only build it forwards. And what I mean by that is you can't build it backwards into the trough. Oh, I love this part when you're on the ride and it skips up and bounces over the bridge. I mean, come on, come on. Who, who, who thought of that? I thought of that, right? Uh, this is obviously not the final iteration of the ride either. What you've seen in the very beginning uh, what you see in the very beginning of the video is, oh, I see, I really, I think I need to go back and rethink this side of the coaster because I really like it coming off to the right side like that. I don't know, I'm gonna rethink that, but we'll see what that looks like. Um, but yeah, so the final iteration of the coaster is not what you, you're gonna see here. It's a lot, a lot of editing and a lot of 
minor uh, changes to really create the coaster that I wanted to create and what I wanted to see. What I love about this coaster though is that you've got so many different variations uh, that you can kind of fiddle with. You know, if you look at some of the, and again, this is, we want this to feel like a real life coaster, right? And we're gonna have a lot of real life elements which we're gonna get into in later episodes. But um, what I do like about it is that you have the ability to really create a very realistic ride. And when it comes back to a lot of source material that I use, I looked at um, Escape from Atlantis. I looked at, or Escape from Pompeii and Journey to Atlantis. I looked at uh, some of the European water coasters that are out there. And don't ask me for names because I can't remember them offhand just at the moment. But you guys get the point, right? So, so you have a lot of source material, and that's kind of what I was going off of for this coaster. And uh, again, we're gonna have as much of a real element as possible. Currently, in this moment, uh, outside of this video, I'm building the station. I'm still building the station. I want to say the station's now taken me a good week and a half. Uh, it, it's kind of massive. Uh, which is exactly what I, I, I'm cool with. I wanted it to be massive. I wanted it to be a very large entryway into this next area. So obviously we've got this big, big lake or water feature here. And what I love about this water feature is the fact that now that we've got this water feature in place, we can create a shore front. And with that shore front comes a seaside-esque theming and that's what i want to go after so we're going to do a lot of seaside kind of feeling around this area but that's we got a while for that um i'm probably estimating the station alone is going to be a good like two at least two episodes uh a lot of the video i have recorded at the station is a lot of copy and paste repetition unfortunately uh most of it's going to get scrapped because i don't want to bore you guys to death but yeah, so here we, oh my God, look at how great it looks. See, I, yeah, I would love for, I think, the coaster to come around over the bridge, off to the right, skip off the water, hop over the trough to the left, and then back into the other trough, the first trough that you go into. But this whole video is a lot of tweaking. So I'm going to uh, shut up for a minute so you guys could watch the tweaking. Kind of see my process of coaster building. I'll come back when there's something interesting to chat about. Check in a bit.
All right, so as I return here now, guys, I want you to kind of see what I was doing there. That was me checking the sight lines, sight lines. So why are sight lines so important? Well, if you've watched any video from any designer that is on YouTube for this game, you know sight lines are probably one of the most important things, right? This is something that's gonna get your, your guests excited about the rides or excited about, you know, specific scenery. We're gonna have vantage points put in for our guests to take pictures of because we've got some really good spots there, right? And the whole positioning of this bridge is specifically for that sunset, right? We want the sun to set and we want the bridge to be perfectly aligned right in that area. Now, when we build the actual station, and we're going to get into that in the next episode, when we build the actual station, you're going to see we're going to have a walkway that comes out over there, and you can actually have like a promenade look uh, of the bridge right there. Oh my God, how great is that? Like, how great is that sight line, right? And that's what it's all about. Vantage points are everything in this game. All right, so as we're building out the Brooklyn Bridge here, I ran into a couple of conundrums, if you will, trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to do this. And originally I was gonna have it built out with these uh, wall pieces. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna let the video uh, explain for itself. But wall pieces for me, like the more I build, the less I like building with the grid. If that makes any sense, I, I'm, I'm totally an off-grid guy, you know? I think that's a, what I'm coming to the conclusion of. I have more freedom. I'm not stuck in any constraints and I'm able to just create. And uh, I think that's, that's where off-grid comes for me. I think grid pieces for me are becoming more of like the way to box in or to give the, the loose build of what I want to build, but as far as using grid pieces going forward for buildings, uh, I think I'm going to try to use them as sparingly as possible, to be honest. And you're going to see why in a moment here. Trying to recreate the Brooklyn Bridge is not an easy thing. And again, we don't do the full thing yet, so just putting it out there. Um, we have a very loose uh, initial foundation built out of the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, or each tower, and we're gonna come back. I think that might be, uh, it might be coming soon uh, from a design perspective. So I think I may start building on that this week. Uh, possibly, I don't know, I'm on the fence. We'll see, I've gotta finish up the station first. I'm almost done with the station, and uh, I've gotta do one particular area in the station, specifically, which is an all day project, to be honest. And then I've got to do all of the ride things uh, for this type of ride. So what we're going to do, we're going to have troughs, uh, water returns for the troughs. We're going to lay, lay down pipe work. We're going to put down a couple of uh, fountain placements in there. We're going to have uh, grid work put down. Uh, Clear understanding that this is, you know, it's a real part, it's a real thing, right? So we want to make sure that we're being as real as possible with you know, what we're setting up for this ride. So that's something that I think I'm going to work on next, and then I'll get into the bridge. Because once all that stuff's down, I'll be able to build the bridge around it. But I really love the, the shape of the bridge uh, so far, and again, it gives that same type of feeling. Now, I don't know if it's too tall or not. It might be a little bit too tall, it might not. I'm on the fence, it's a big question mark. But we shall see as the uh, as the building progresses, the direction we decide to take drive safe. But I think from every vantage point walking around this lake, you get really great visuals of this coaster and of this bridge. Now, again, like I said, there's a lot of tweaking. Originally, I was going to have it so that the coaster itself taps the water and uh, creates a splash. But then I, I realized from a realistic perspective, a realistic perspective, that's not something that exists in real life, right? 
So I went back and I, I did some editing there. And again, all of this that I'm building now, unfortunately I apologize, but this password doesn't stay either. Um, most of it doesn't stay, I should say. Uh, this is this password here for the cube does, um, which I love. I think the way the cube came out, the way the uh, inside of the station came out, I'm at, I'm head over heels for. It. To be honest with you, it's got such a unique vibe. It's very Staten Island. If anyone knows what I mean by that statement, <laughs> you'll know. Uh, you'll know when you see me about this station. Very. So when you're building a coaster, for those of you that are watching this and have never built a coaster before, or are interested in building a coaster in Planko in the future, or don't even have the game yet, know that it will not happen instantaneously. <laughs> it takes a lot, a lot of refinement and tweaking, and I'm still not happy with the coaster in its current state, you know, and I've been now building this coaster out. When did I get back? I got back from my trip three weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago, I got back from Atlanta. So I've been building this coaster and tweaking it a little bit every day for three and a half weeks. Uh, so just to give you some idea uh, as far as that goes. But you'll see that, uh, you know, the final iteration, it's definitely, it's definitely changed, uh, which I love. And, and again, as we do further theming and, and build it out, we'll do a, a POV at the end of this video, and then we'll do a, a, a POV, I think, once we've built out the bridge. Once we've built out the Brooklyn Bridge, I think it'll be 100% ready to go from a theming standpoint, because at that point, we'll have all the lighting set up, we'll have all of the, uh, all of the logistical, mechanical, portions of the ride set up and we'll be able to really uh, really have a good clear idea of what this coaster is going to feel like if you were a guest. Now here I am just fussing around with some ideas as far as flats go. Now none of these flats are going to stay either, um, but the ideology around the walkway for the lake is going to stay. And the whole idea is that this is going to be like a shore front, right? We're going to make this like the shore. And well, what do you do when you go through Jersey from New York? You're headed to where, or through, sorry, I just blew it. Where are you going when you're heading through Staten Island? from New York, you're going to Jersey. So we're gonna create a Jersey Shore shoreline here uh, with very Jersey Shore-esque type feel, uh, which is gonna be super fun. And again, this is just, you know, comical theming from my life. You know, this is what I know. I know New York, I know New Jersey, I know Staten Island. Staten Island. But yeah, you can kind of see what the footprint of the park is looking like now, and I'm loving the direction it's going. And we're just doing the test and kind of seeing what our guests are thinking. Are they afraid? Are they excited? Are they happy? You know, and this is where a lot of my tweaking comes in as well.
Now, here I'm just trying to figure out what I want the the shape of the lake to look like. And, and again, this changes a little bit, but not much, right? I minimize the size of it, and then I, I start to think about what is it gonna look like all the way around. That was me just opening up a picture of the station. <laughs> oh, look at that, look at that. All right, here we are with the POV, guys. I hope you enjoy uh, this POV, and we will catch you next time here at Coaster Monkey Studios this coming Thursday, where we begin our station for the Beast Water Coaster. Check you guys next time. Thanks so much for joining. Ciao.